Now, outer sphere reactions can also occur between compounds that have different metal cations in them. This type of reaction is called a cross reaction. A cross reaction involves two different coordination compounds containing different metal cations. For example, in this reaction, chromium H206 2 plus will react with radio labeled Fe H206 3 plus, forming Cr H206 3 plus and Fe H20 star 6 2 plus. The rate constant for this reaction, given right here, is 2 times 10 to the third molar to the minus 1 second to the minus 1. That's a very high rate constant, stating that this reaction will occur at a high rate. For any type of reaction to occur by an outer sphere mechanism, the metal ligand bond links must be very similar. This allows the reaction to have a lower activation energy. If the bond links vary greatly, the activation energy will become very large and the reaction will not occur to an appreciable extent. Much like the substitution reaction where we talked about its mechanism, we now need to go through the steps for an outer sphere mechanism. In the first step, the two complexes in the reactants must collide to form an ion pair. The ion pair is held together very weakly and it's a short-lived complex. So these two ions collide and they end up forming a very weak interaction where the non-radio labeled complex with more electrons is weakly interacting with the radio labeled complex with less electrons. In the second step, instantaneously an electron will hop from the from one part of the ion pair to the other part. This second step shows that with a change in the charge on the complex ion. In the third step, the two product ions separate. That weak bond is broken, forming two products, RuH206 3 plus and RuH20 star 6 2 plus. That is the mechanism for an outer sphere reaction. I want to now go over the inner sphere electron transfer reaction. For an inner sphere reaction, an electron is transferred from one metal cation to another through a bridging ligand. So you do form a new bond here. Usually in this type of reaction, the bridging, bridging ligand is transferred from one metal cation to the other but that is not always true. In 1953, Talby studied a series of reactions involving Cr2 plus and CO3 plus. This is the reaction. CO NH3 5 X2 plus plus Cr H206 2 plus in acid yields CrH205X2 plus plus CoH206 2 plus plus 5NH4 pluses. In this case, the, this ligand X is either a halide, NCS minus, NO3 minus, or CN minus. In this reaction, CO3 plus is reduced to CO2 plus, and Cr2 plus is oxidized to Cr3 plus. X minus acts as the bridging ligand. So what you need to do, and I want you to think about this as we talk about the mechanism, you need to classify the complex ions in this, uh, in this mechanism 
as either labile or inert. You will find as we go along, you will quickly understand which ones are labile and which ones are inert. These are the four complex ions that we will look at. In the first step, the labile complex loses a ligand. CrH206 2 plus is the labile complex. So it must lose a ligand forming a five coordinate intermediate. In the second step, a bridging ligand or a ligand bridge is formed between the labile complex and the inert complex. Here is the labile complex and here is the inert complex. The X will form a bridge between CR and CO forming this intermediate. It is a complex ion where X is the bridging ligand. Third, an electron must be transferred through the bridging ligand. So we take our, our ligand or our intermediate with the ligand bridge and an electron is transferred from CR to CO. Changing the oxidation states of CO and CR to the product in step three. Step four, the bridging transition state must break apart, forming two new complexes. This is one of our products. This is not. By changing the oxidation state on CO from CO3 plus to CO2 plus, this becomes a labile complex. By changing the oxidation state of CR from 2 plus to 3 plus, it now becomes an inert complex. In step 5, the labile CO NH3 5 2 plus loses all of its ligands and all of them are replaced by water. That's where the NH4 plus comes from because the NH3 reacts with the five acids forming five NH4 plus. Now let's think about some evidence for the inner sphere mechanism. We know there's evidence for the outer sphere mechanism using radio labeled, uh, radio -labeled water. In this case, if the reaction is performed with radio labeled CONH35 Cl2, where the bridging ligand is radio labeled, you'll notice that the reaction solution contains no, uh, contains, uh, no free radio labeled Cl minus. It becomes part of the chromium product. Now you can also compare the rate constant for inner sphere mechanisms based upon the different types of halides. Notice that as the size of the halide increases, the rate constant increases, meaning that the bigger the bridging halide ligand, the faster the reaction occurs. Here's the reason. The reason that the bigger halide ligands lead to faster reactions is polarizability.